this is me trying to speak English again. I want to talk a little about the phase of the moon. <clears throat> she is the only one of the seven planets that has four phases, four well-defined phases, four uh, easy to recognize in the sky phases. And uh, the phase she's in is immensely important in the way she acts in a chart. It makes a, a huge difference because each one of the phases is related to one of the elements. So uh, she's melancholic in, in her third phase. So she, uh, uh, she will be a very different, regardless of the sign she's in, from a first phase, a sanguine, quote unquote, sanguine moon. Uh, a moon uh, re uh, related to or interesting in or acting in a sanguine way or interested in air or uh, that acts in an airy way. So the first phase begins at the moon's conjunction, conjunction sorry, with the sun and ends in her first quarter first square to the sun. The second phase begins there and ends at her opposition to the sun. The first phase uh, ends in her second square. And the fourth phase ends in the next conjunction. So don't forget about that. Some people do, even astrologers do, when assessing a birth chart and go and check your birth chart. See, do you have a, an airy moon, a watery moon, a earthy moon, or a fiery moon? And I think you'll notice that it uh, has a closer uh, association with how you perceive your moon acting in your life than just the sign it's in.